Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of Antimatter Factory. And I'm just wrapping up some better ore processing. Because honestly, it needs to be faster. And let's go ahead and button this up as well. Uh, Alright. The three of you and one. Yeah, three linkage amplifiers and one resonant kit. And even with them being on auto push, oh no, they're not on, well, auto input, yeah, no, they're on auto output. Uh, they're still not pushing to these flipping pipes. That's one thing is I don't like is the disconnect between thermal and mechanism. Oh well. Should see a bunch of items moving through now. Uh, we've got back and speed upgrades in this interface here. This interface is providing ores, and so is this one because there are 11. But I have it at the time in my system. So, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I need to do something about these ores. Oh, God. Yeah, I can feel the lag. Okay. And I set up. This guy, wow, you are doing great. This is an advanced exporter from Extra Storage, as opposed to the Elite exporter from Cable Tiers. And I decided to try them both out and see. I'm kind of thinking the uh, the advanced one's actually faster. Although it's hard to tell. Uh, here, you though, you can stop all of this, right? Actually, I should go get some bazals now. And, uh... I'll run that through here to try to increase my or my uh, production as much as possible. Uh, here. You. And... That. There we go. Knock yourself out. I was kind of afraid of that, actually. Uh, let's see, alloy. Uh, I'm probably actually going to need a, two of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to need two. One and two. And just in case, we'll go ahead and do that. And, yep, not quite enough juice in one alloy to do entire spread there and we'll just speed you up all the way right and it looks like the interface can keep up so wow you really don't have any oh yeah well it's actually caught up on nickel and zinc already but I'm not surprised with that uh, this one, not so much, but it's only pulling four ore at a time out of here. So, yeah, not great. Uh, how are we looking for, you know what? Give me two more of those, would you? And go, and just in, you know what? Let's just go all the way. Well, I'll just do it this way. There we go. And you, you. There we go. And are we going to be able to keep some of these up and going now? Uh, I got currently three running. Oh, it's doing its annoying mechanism trait. Yeah, okay. It'll work eventually. At least you're full of Bazal's powder. You are not... Wow. There it goes. Okay, well. It'll hopefully catch up. Now let's look into this and be like, okay, what is our dust situation right now? <laughs> uh, I got 1,010 dust and yeah.
and you are currently not running. Because the wrong 10 dust is in there. Oh, that is annoying. I really, yeah. Emendatus Enigmatica. No. Iron could be that one. Gold. Because I grabbed the Emendatus dust and put it in here. That's not what be what is being produced though. Uh let's see, tin, copper, gold, iron, osmium, and then silver was the last one, right? Thank you. Uh looks like nickel is an issue. Oh yeah, look how quick we're burning through the tin. I mean we're already down to three hundred from over a thousand. Uh looks like nickel is the last Hold out though, okay. Uh, nickel. There you go. And this one is thermal nickel, yeah. Makes sense, it came out of a pulverizer. Did I get lead? Lead does not seem to be being processed. Nope, that is slightly different. There we go. Is there... Yeah, an exact mode is off, but it's still just like, yeah, no. Exact mode is not the same as Or Dictionary. And we've got... Okay, that's Obsidian, that's Hop, that's Cope. Okay, yeah, no, we're good there. All right, and so this Rainbow Furnace here is actually keeping up with 10 Pulverizers. Kind of funny when you stop and think about it, but it works. All right, so how are we doing on Latex? Uh, 17, almost 18 buckets. So everything's working great. Um, hmm. Do you still slow down when you get full of sludge? That's still a thing. Oh, no, I never set up a uh, item input for you. Dang it. I got sidetracked with my ore production. Uh, let's see, importer. I've got some of those on me, don't I? Uh, cable. All right. Let's go ahead then. Oh, wow. Yeah. Got to put the extra block reach. My bad. You and you can be hooked up and you can go into fluid mode. All right, so let's fill the hole in before I find out the hard way. You know, what it feels like to break my knees from the build limit. Again. And you are going to be an exporter. And you're going to have saplings, right? So you have oak. And acacia. Uh, you know, I didn't hook the rest of the wire up. I'm like, why is it not coming in? Yeah, it's not tied into the rest of the system yet. Gadget. All right, and we'll just run this on back. So we should see. Yep. Putting saplings in, good. Uh, I'm not gonna bother speed upgrading it, because that's still gonna run faster. You, on the other hand, you are my item input. You get a stack upgrade and some speeds. It's probably overkill, but, and the fluid is fine, right? All right, so, and it's working again. So now I've got sludge. I should probably make a sludge refiner. Something else, it's free resources. And I don't think sludge really has a whole lot of use to it.
Uh, yeah, that's about it. Or we can run through the sludge refiner. Clay, gravel, sand, red sand, soul sand, dirt, clay. Yeah, I, we get a few things out of it. Let me just go ahead and add that to the wish list then. Um, while I'm here, we're going to teach system how to make logistical sorters because, yeah, probably going to need a few of those as we go. And I can get that out of my wish list. So there is this auto hammer, right? And not you, although you look like fun too. But I'm not sure if I'm going to bother with that. Uh, we're going to need to know how to make heavy pressure plates. And you, I've had comments since like the beginning of the series about the hammers and stuff. So I might try them out. But I figure nothing else, I can get that out of my, my list here. Okay. Uh, oh, so I have a lot on me. Whoops. Now, what was I going to do next? Oh, yeah. Recipes. Uh, let me get some patterns first. Oh, yeah. It's so much quicker now. Uh, add-ons, right? Because there are efficiency add-ons. Did I have everything for that? If so, that's awesome. Uh, everything but redstone, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, there are processing add-ons, which, yeah, cool, everything's taught. I like how it tells you what's already in the system, and then there are speed add-ons. And those can all go... Actually, while I'm, because otherwise I'm just going to have to come back up here. Uh, let's see, at or going frame, right? Because there is the simple machine frame. Well, it takes latex as well. And uh, let's see, you can have that. You can have those two, and you can have this one. So can I then come here and request probably just one speed, actually. And let's go for two efficiencies. And actually, I should probably speed upgrade the uh, things below, right? So, can I have like three more of those? There's one. And. In a minute now, two. Okay. And then we're making our speed upgrades. Cool. I remember this having like a speed beacon or something right about now. Oh, hello. Forgot about that. So you get an efficiency upgrade and speed upgrade. Oh, it's just needed to get just a little bit framey around here <laughs> all of a sudden. Uh, 116 is not fond of having large amount of blocks appear and disappear at once. One fifteen was a lot better about it, actually, and later editions were better too. And then you can have an efficiency, so I think you'll use less power or something. I don't know. Pretty sure it's just power related. Now, one thing I haven't checked on, actually, speaking of power, is how is our power doing? Because I've hooked up a lot of very big machines. Yeah, you're not even burning it max yet. You're good. I've hooked up a lot of machines that are running pretty much continuously now. And I uh, wanted to make sure I wasn't draining my power out. You know, find out now rather than later. That is still a lot of resources. Oh my god. 15,000? How? Do I have an upgrade? I have a storage. I have a gold one in you. Okay. Uh, maybe bump it to eight.
we were getting caught up for a while there. Oh, and then I gave those pulverizers flint. I gave him bazals first, and then I gave him flint. Oi. Speaking of which, how are we doing on flint now? Uh, it would help if I actually, you know... There we go. Uh, we're up to 1,500 flint. Okay, cool. And this number is still climbing. It went up to 15.7 thousand on the gravel. Man, that is... Uh... Uh, we're only using emerald, aren't we? Yeah, we are. So I could get more items by using netherite, but it's not going to improve the speed or anything. They're already really, you know, really fast. All right, maybe I should pull flint out of the, uh, the pulverizers down here then. All right, I, I did. You were just, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should get some more sieves set up. Um, how are you doing, though? You are full, okay. And so are you-ish, yeah. Might need to edit some recipes on the basals. Actually, something else I might need to do is you. You're producing basals powder right now, but I don't have a way of... Uh, And you're running full time here. Well, that's the only stuff you make there anyway. Right, so it's kind of, I mean, it's got enough in here. It's just not fast enough. And I don't really, okay, well, what is your configuration? Top and bottom? Okay, yeah, we can work with this. Boink. Nope. Yep, look at you. So, exporter, boom. We have a crafting card, we do. You can give yourself Bazal's powder now. And, able. And let's just kind of manually prime everything a little bit. There you go. There you are. And it's giving itself bazaars now, okay. So I might, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're just going to do a stack upgrade and some speeds on here. Because it can burn through bazaars pretty quick whenever it is running. So, there it goes. And you are currently just not doing anything. This can be my new, I think, crafter. Crafter jobber. Yeah, it might work. Why are you, like... Occasionally stacks are going in, and sometimes they aren't. It's only grabbing a couple. Well, I'll pan it because we're doing fairly good. Did I never turn my uh, hop graphite system back on? I just noticed my coke dust number went up by 40 since last episode. Oh, my, yeah, look at you. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I forgot to, uh, yeah, turn you back on. At least the crusher was still running, because otherwise it would just have a ton of coal coke sitting inside of it. And you're doing great. Now, what number did I have you set at? Uh, 500 oak logs. Okay. Which, now that we have this all up and running, then everything should be fine. Uh... Yeah, I need to... Can I drop stuff off in your inventory? 
Oh, hell yeah, I can. Sweet. Makes this thing a lot easier to, to empty out now. Okay, I just put some crafters away, but that works. You know what? Get out of here. And you haven't really got anything new since either, so yeah. Put you away and send you off to you. Empty those out and grab the storage upgrades out. And clean up one more, you know, remnant. And boom. Yeah, that was quick. You. Uh, you still do that, don't you? All right. But everything's working like it should be. Awesome. And... What is our oak wood looking like in here now? Uh, oak is up to 2,500. We're up to 11,500 sand already. 700 acacia. Okay. Uh, latex, we're at 23 buckets now. Okay. Uh, let's get the sludge thing, right? Also, let's get those out of here. Oh, you just need a pity? That's awesome. Uh, hmm. It's like, okay, where would be a good place to put this thing? Let's see, we've got... Okay, now you're providing water. Hmm. Dang, I don't know if I want to do it right there anyway. Okay, let's, uh... Ah, dang it. It doesn't fit in anywhere is the thing. Right. It does need power. Okay, not a problem. Uh, can I get a logistic cable then? And then I just need... need an exporter. Let's go ahead and do that too. Uh, do I still have the range? I do. Good. Hey, guess what? Facing that way now. Uh, fluid. Sludge. Wonderful, yummy stuff, right? And hey, look, you're running. Sweet. And it just produced some sand. And some dirt. All right, cool. Uh, this thing is still actually just working as a very primitive cobble chin, so. I might find another use for you. I might not. I don't know. You are not, like, you are, yeah, kind of augmented. There's one. Two and three. All right. Here. Yeah, the difference with and without the, the grinding catalyst is just honestly insane. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, right. Hmm. Okay, nickel and zinc are caught up. That's good news. Well, are they? Or are they just not being 
Did I not put a crafting upgrade in here? I did, okay. Always check first. Uh, kind of, yeah, caught up. I mean, yep, there it goes. I just grabbed a bunch and sent it out. So, yeah, the problem here is it's a mechanism thing. As soon as it notices, hey, there's room for a couple of iron, it will just grab just a couple of iron and move it, leaving this one starving because it's constantly keeping this one going. What happens whenever your machines are too fast and you pair them with ultimate logistical tr uh, transporters? Yeah. Um... There are a couple ways that I can help this. But honestly, it's just all... Yeah. It's a limitation within the mechanism pipes themselves, and there's really not much I can do about it for the most part without using a logistical sorter. You know, this little thing here. This one is set to round robin. It prevents this line from doing the same thing. So, instead of doing it, I was just going to hook up more uh, bases of this to the, log the logistical transporters, which I could probably actually still get away with. Um... Alright, let's get you like that, and then that, right? You are my empty one, so you don't need to be hooked up at all. You can be extracting. You can be extracting. Alright, so we should see some more activity going on here. Oh yeah, look at that. Lots more activity. And did my, not you, did my transporters get done? They did. I need more. Now, there we go. There. And is that going to be enough to get all 10 of these things running? I just watched one turn off. Dang it. You have a crafting, or no, you just have speeds and crafting, yeah. You're not extracting at all. What the hell? Oh no. Happened again. Nope, stop. 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 Stop doing that. You're going to fill up on a crap. Okay, now those are empty out. Okay, emptied out. And looks like we have all 10 running now. Okay. Or now, but at least we should get caught up. Honestly, logistical sorter would have been the way to go, but I'm being lazy. Uh, except for our iron. <laughs> okay. Iron and copper, osmium. Even gold's getting caught up now. But uh, yeah, we've got 14,000 iron ore pieces sitting here. Uh, 4,300 copper. We've got 5,800 osmium. I mean, the rest of them are, it's under two stacks. So, and two stacks is where it crafts up a new bunch of this, right? Because it does 32 at a time. Which is kind of weird how refined storage does it, but it's a thing. So, but we should be hopefully getting up. Wow, we're backstuffing though. Are you backstuffing? Not really, no. These are the ones actually getting the Bazaar's powder, aren't they? Yeah. Well, you got some too. You don't, and you're not backstuffing. So, yeah, no, it's upgraded pulverizer with the powder. 
and the lo ultimate logistical transporters cannot keep up with it. What sort of screwy crap is that? Come on, mechanism, get better pipes. I am out of food. Uh, do we have any potatoes left or what? Uh, yeah. How am I doing on like bread, maybe, all right? Better question. Wheat. Uh, 1400. Yeah, we're okay. Uh, devouring generator from Cyclic. Okay. I can make a sweet roll with create if I put milk on bread. That uh, does not make a sweet roll, but okay. Thank you for trying. All right. So you are currently making latex still. Awesome. You're done. You are waiting for sludge to show up. Good. You guys are... Oh. Huh. Yeah, I just realized something. I, uh... I never gave these things power. Okay, there's an easy way to do this, but it's not the cheap way. But I'm going to do it that way anyway. There you go. Um, right. Dang it. Well, I can get at least some of these powered pretty easily. And what we do here. Main power. We can do that one here as well. So it's just these four kind of on the inside covered by cables that aren't powered right now. So I, I'm okay with that for the moment. Not like I have access to draconic stuff yet. Although that might not be very far away, actually. Um, oops, wrong laser. Okay, uh, let's see. Go ahead and teach you how to make this. Uh, you know what? Sure, diamond pick recipe, why not? Uh, laser drill itself. Yeah. And then fluid laser base, because why not? I'm going to need ether gas anyway, so why shouldn't I? And I just realized... Okay, those ones are still running. Well, kinda. It's... Shouldn't be stuck on processing any of these. There we go. Right. So if I wanted an ore laser base start, I just need an advanced machine frame, which that is the pink slime one. That is the pink slime one. All right. So we're going to need a mob slaughter factory. Uh, here, get some of that stuff requested. I need two swords. I am going to need two axes. And we're going to hit start. Now, is there the animal baby separator? Animal baby separator. Awesome. Um, right. Okay. Well, I don't know why it needs purple, but it does. Please tell me I have enough carrots. Okay. Oh, I don't have enough gold nuggets, though. Animal baby separator. Um, I never made a vanilla or a recipe for vanilla dispenser, did I? Oh, that is hilarious. All right. I got all the modded blocks done, but I didn't get a, uh, a vanilla one in. Uh, timer? Right, are you a... Is this something I'm going to need? Possibly. So, might as well. 
and why not? Should show up any second now, and there it goes. Missing a hopper, really? I thought. Oh no, hopper didn't highlight. Really, hopper? Yeah. I can probably pick that up now, actually. Uh, you can go away. So can that cobblestone generator. And... All right, so I'm thinking... Chicken slaughter factory, right? Should be pretty easy. I've got a bunch of eggs. That'll work for now, I guess. And... Maybe our pods all over here would be good. So, uh, let's see. Animal baby separator, right? So it's going to be like a three-chambered kind of deal. And hold on a second. Oh, well, there. I was trying not to sneeze, and it's just... Sometimes, yeah. Comes close. So let's go ahead... Accumulator, yeah, right. Are we within range? No. Now we are. Okay. Really? I never... Never taught at clear glass. Although, honestly, it's not something I really thought I was going to need all that much, so. So I'm going to make a 3x3 three three area here. That I can put chickens in. And they're going to lay eggs. And this the eggs are going to be picked up by this thing. See how lucky we get. Oh, a little bit. I'm waiting for one of the rare quadruples to, you know, to pop up. But I think one might have, and I didn't notice it. Uh, is that going to be enough? Yeah, I'd probably start off with, right? So then we are going to grab our animal baby separator, and I think, yeah, that'll work. What we're going to have happen is... You're just work big, aren't you? Yeah, this stuff requires silk touch to pick up. Uh, I made the recipe for the dispenser. I never actually grabbed it, did I? Oh, yeah. Like that. And... No, walk off the edge there. We're going to put our timer facing in. And it's aimed down. Uh, do I have any of that soundproofing left? I need orange dye. Dang it. Oh, actually, it's right here. Mm, better. Oh, it's almost tolerable. It's like right at the edge of hearing right now, and I'm not sure if I'm okay with that or not. So how about we go egg, right? I still got a bunch in here.
chicken is just getting wailed on by eggs. Mm, let me try something here. Grab some ladders so I can easily access everything. Uh, let's get some logistical stuff going. Uh, let's see, what else do we need? That, eventually. I still haven't hooked this back up, either. Uh, hmm. Maybe just a comparator would work? But redstone, which we're, we've got an income on redstone. It's just not as fast as I would like. That and we're getting it in the uh, form of block. So this number doesn't really reflect that very well. All right, ladder. Thank you. And then if I was just to do this and that, right? Comparator. Ah, see. Dang. Wire. Right. Um. There is this stuff, this wire here. Like free redstone wire can only do straight lines, so. Not what I want, though. What I want is like a uh, project red wiring or something. Uh, can I just get a repeater? Wow, I never taught it how to make a repeater, huh? Damn. And we have the create repeaters, but that's, yeah. Not quite what I want. Um... Probably a torch, too, actually. I'm going to need to invert the signal, so. Watch out. Cyan's going to be doing vanilla redstone now. All right. So you are... Puzzle redstone is active. Thank you. You are in a bad spot, actually. We'll ladder this up here. And... We'll have comparator go to repeater. Repeater goes to a block. Block would be a redstone torch. Wow, that was not anywhere close to where I was aiming. And pause. All right, <laughs> it works. All right, maybe. Uh, here's the thing is, I used up all my eggs trying this out, so I don't know for certain. Although I could literally give it any block and see if it shoots it out, right? So how about you? And while it has blocks, it'll keep running as soon as it runs out. Done. All right. Now. You are going to need, no, not colors, dang it. He didn't want to do that. All right, there, nope, extract. And you should just be, anything within reach, you should pick up. I think he just picked up some of the, uh, some of the cobble. Go to my hot bar. Dang it. All right. So if I was to say drop that there, picks up the cobblestone, routes it over to here, deploys it. Okay, cool. And now over here, we're going to have a place where, well, where, you know, the adults go after. After they've had a nice tender childhood. 
So glass, uh, we should have a bunch of connecting glass. So we'll just do that now. Didn't do that earlier because, well, inventory was full. And we can do like so. And you're going to need power. Probably be a good idea to give you, yeah, moving, moving adults. Probably a good idea to give you a range upgrade. Uh, you've got to serve an area. Oh, really? Three by four? Uh, three by five. Okay. So you're going to need a, like a plus two add on. Okay. I don't want to go any bigger because I might accidentally grab adults out of here. So, and that would be bad, but The other thing we're going to do is you're going to go right there and you are going to kill any adults that land in front of you. So let's go teach the system how to make a add-on plus two. Give me those. Add-on. Uh, lapis tier, right? Yeah. Look at you. And no, I don't know how to make lapis because, well, I'm getting it for free anyway. Power in. Resources out. It's awesome. Uh, let's see. Here, you can have that one. Quite a bit faster. I like that. I think I could get uh, speed add-ons and put them into my latex, latex extractors, right? Or not you. Uh, how are we doing on latex anyway? Uh, 54 buckets, not bad. All right, let's go ahead and come up here. You can have one of those. And then you get the other one. And the other thing I'm going to need to do is probably just put on the underside a, uh, you know what, I'm just going to do that. Way I have a marker of where, you know, let's just do it that way. Where the slaughter factory is, right? And... I'm going to just hook up an importer to the bottom of this thing, and it's going to import all the wonderful gooeyness, gooey goodness, and main power. All right. So now we're just waiting for babies to grow up, which, fortunately, it does take a little while. Uh, let me go ahead and grab one. Wow, I'm actually getting low on interpearls. I need to do something about that. Uh, seeds. I got a ladder on me still, don't I, right? Yeah, I can just do that. Okay. Hey, hello, guys. Let me force feed you to make you grow up quicker. Get you down to like 30 seconds or so-ish, right? Eh, it's not too bad. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Wow. That took a lot of seeds to get you to that point. Half stack each. And... The, the tool auto refills. What are you doing? Oh, hey, look. And it's um, it's backwards, isn't it? Son of a. Oh, <laughs> why? Oh, why would you be backwards? That is so annoying. Give me this.
All right. Moving adults. That. Hey, I moved an adult. Oh. They're disappearing. And we got some pink slime and a little bit of liquid meat. A little farther than I meant to there, but oh well. So we do have a little bit of a pink slime coming in. Uh, as these guys here grow up, we should be a little more able to... Uh, well, it should automatically produce baby chickens over time anyway, so. Yes, get all fat and happy and don't worry about what happens to your kids. And... What would probably be faster is using something like a cow or a sheep or something. Cow, sheep, pig. In which case you just get two animal baby separators and... Uh, have a breeding pen, all the babies, put them in here till they grow up, move them from here over to here. You know, it's still a three chamber design. This, this one I, is completely automated now. I don't have to supply wheat or anything else. I do, however, need to turn off that. Hey, we have an adult now. Sweet. So it should just get better from there. And if I ever decide it's not fast enough, I can just put up a lever here on this block. It'll shut the whole thing off. Eggs will gather in here, and then I can add more eggs into here as I want. I mean, it's not the fastest way of doing it, but it'll work. I just need to uh, get stuff imported now into the system. So... That would be, is what, two in? Look at that, it made a little pattern right there. Right here? Hey, look at you. Importer, done. Um, fluid, all right, cool. And now we should see a little bit of pink slime and meat in the uh, in the fluid grid. Then after we get enough of that, we can get into laser. My God, what are you doing? Holy crap! Uh, yeah, we got liquid meat and pink slime. Apparently, we had another adult show up, so. But it's not the fastest uh, setup, but it'll get better as we go. Of course, we've only got three babies left in here now, so. Uh, let's see, cobblestone. Thank you. I know I'm an idiot and I will fall down the hole. All right, awesome. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Um, a little bit of incremental progress, but still progress. Uh, next time we should be able to, well, one thing I'm going to do real quick before we go, though, is teach the system how to make the advanced machine frames. Now, uh, netherite scrap, that comes uh, when saving from fresh netherrack. So I'm going to have to automate this somehow, which I've had this up here for a while, Uh what do we have for debris? None. Scrap, we've got one piece. Okay. So, yeah. We're going to... I think it needs some netherite here soon. Also, I could shut down the sieves up there and upgrade all those with netherite, but I just don't see much of a point to it right this second. Uh, here. You get that. Alright, I love how refined storage has built-in fluid handling, though. It's amazing. Especially for auto-crafting. All right, but uh, yeah, we've got a variety of resources coming in. But yeah, I can just do that and it'll... 
<laughs> 16,000. God. Um, yeah. Uh, not sure how to fix this, actually. You know, speed wise. Well, and I have ideas, right? But, uh, eh, it shouldn't be too hard, I think. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thanks for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.